If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got three of the pre-release legends the night before, of course, guys. We will have the full ones in-game, of course. We'll have the full ones, potentially the, um, the LTD boss-style ones tomorrow morning as well. Uh, and we'll, of course, we'll have the packs. But for the time being, we do get to see some early screenshots of the cards and their stats. Of course, this one's a kicker right here. Now, that honestly isn't that bad if you guys really think about it, because a good kicker can really make a difference right now, especially from the first weekend league. Get a nice, good, competitive kicker in there to make some of the deeper kicks. Great kick power, great kick accuracy, of course. But we've guys, before we get into the video and go over all these stats from Morton Anderson, make sure this video a big thumbs up, as always, guys. And if you haven't already, make sure down below. Comment down below what you guys think of these legends as we get through the video. Make sure to subscribe to go on over, hit the subscribe button, turn that on, boys, come join the family. Make sure you guys do a big thumbs up, like I said. And guys, let's get into some of these legends here. I'm super excited to see what the other two were. I didn't actually click on them. I hopped on the first screenshot here. Take a benefit of our team. We can go ahead and actually pick some of these guys up for the squad. Of course, I hope this crashes the market a little bit tomorrow so I can go ahead and pick up some new players. Because for the current time being, I don't have a team. But guys, let's hop into this. Let's check out the stats on Ward Anderson, 8 and overall kicker. Now, we do have 89 overalls. So that does mean we'll probably have one or two 90s. Hopefully, we have two, but 189. Hopefully, it's not 289s, of course. But, oh, and we get new tokens, guys. Don't forget about that. Make sure to check out your solos tomorrow. We're probably getting the new solo releases for the new tokens to keep building up on your free uh, Boss Legend set. But here we go. 59 speed, 66 acceleration, 88 kick power, 85 kick accuracy, 89 awareness, 23 throw power, 16 throw sh short accuracy, and 13 throw on the run. Now, this card is not great in terms of... You know, it's a kicker, it's not, it's not too flashy, but he has great kick power, he has great kick accuracy, could be useful. Of course, he has a power up option, which we'll get into a 90, and maybe he does get focused kicker. I think the 90 awareness was the, potentially, the threshold last year for focus kicker. So if he can get focus kicker, that is pretty cool to start the year to really make it an easy kick bar. Um, will I be picking up Morton Anderson right now? Probably not. Going to be overpriced for a kicker at the time being, but I think it'll be a good option for those competitively, you know, like, must spend millions of coins to place top 100 for championship club and all that other stuff they have to do for ultimate team whatever they do for that stuff those guys great for them for me i'll rock with what i got i mean a regular kicker won't be too much of a difference for how i'm gonna play obviously i'm competitive but i'm not like you know top 10 kind of guy but i'll still be trying my hardest of course now what, what i think his price will be he'll probably be like in the 180 to 230k range depending on how many people actually value a kicker at this time of the game i mean like yes it's useful but if people don't value it'll probably be in the 180 range if people think it's the make or break frequently it could be in the 400k range 300k range it really just depends on how they do this in terms of uh, you know the only legend top kicker right now but let's head over to the next card to check out his stats next we got larry allen we right guard larry allen guys i feel like we always get this card to start the year always a solid option i love having larry allen now, this does take the place of Zach Martin. Now, the only thing with Larry Allen versus Zach Martin, guys, and this is going to be the biggest thing for you guys wondering, Zach Martin will probably progressively get more upgrades than Larry Allen throughout the year. Larry Allen, there is a shot that he doesn't get an upgrade for this card all the way until NFL uh, Ultimate Legends. It, I've seen it happen, right? Because he's not going to get a Thanksgiving card. He won't get a Halloween card. He never does. And more than likely, he won't get a Christmas card. So typically, he doesn't get a card all the way up until about February. Because in January, same thing. The only way he'll get a card in January is if he does end up getting like some Super Bowl legend type cards from Super Bowl set, anything like that. Other than that, I've seen Larry Allen go from this card to his next card, and this just he doesn't get anything for a long time. So Larry Allen will be the best right card at this moment in time, based on his stats. I mean, he's got 90 strength, 85 awareness, 85 pass block, 88 pass block power, 84 pass block footwork or finesse. Sorry, 89 run block, 89 run block uh, power, and 86 run block finesse. Now, his run blocking is phenomenal. His pass block is pretty good, too. If you pop him up and chem him up, he will get pretty much going to be like a threshold run blocker. Almost a threshold pass blocker. Going to be up there all the way with all the stuff. He's going to be able to set the gap. He's going to make gaps. He's going to make holes for you guys. But the only thing with him is, like I said, he won't get an upgrade for a while. So, would I power him up? I mean, I probably would just rock with him base. Use him for like a month. And then once I feel like he might be getting outplayed or there's a new right guard, I'll just sell him off. Because if you do power him up, it'll cost you a lot of training. And then you got to kind of like work with the training values and you're going to lose some training with him. Like I said, based on the position he plays and how things kind of go with Larry Allen cards, I don't think I'd power him up. Like I said, I have powered him up in the past. It just ends up being, I have to run power him up. But again, if you rock if you rock with him for long enough, I guess I could see where the value would come in terms of if you rock with him for long enough, maybe you wouldn't really care the training you lost. But right now, training super expensive. So for me, rock with him as an auctionable guy, play with him, throw some comes on him, take them off when you're done, and then throw him up on the block for the next Zach Martin card. Now, Zach Martin probably... He gets a card where he has one now, and then he may not get a card again until maybe... He, can, he might not get a card for a while as well. Like, Team of the Year sometimes. The Team of the Year is at least January. Larry Allen, at least, I mean, 
both the legend can be able to buy marks depending on when they actually drop him specifically but let's get on to the next and final card let's see what we got going there as for the final card we do have rod woodson 89 overall cornerback for the pittsburgh steelers now rod woodson again another early guy like they really just hit the they really just like basically conservatively gave us these legends that we pretty much get every year at this time do i mind these legends no because it's the first few weeks of legends every legend's exciting the issue becomes when we're like a month in and like we got all of our base legends already we got the rob woodson's we got all these guys now we're like okay where are some good ones where are the lawrence taylors or last year we got them pretty early but like where's dion where's moss where's uh where are there some new ones you know like that's when it starts getting when they start recycling legends when it really starts to suck like a better version of someone but as long as they keep up they give us our base ones again but let's go into the stats. Number 26 here, he's got 88 speed, 88 excel, 88 agility, 85 jumping, 87 play rec, 87 man, 85 zone, 81 press. Now, the thing with Rob Woodson, he's the jack of all trades, always has been, always will be. He pretty much can do just about everything you need to do. He can play decently enough man, decent enough zone, the good press, good jumping, good play rec. He can pretty much do just about everything you need him to actually do. The only thing with him is, is that he's not great at any of those things, so he's not going to be the best press guy, not going to get a threshold corner at a zone. Going to get threshold man powered up and chemmed up. Gonna get threshold player. He's gonna be like a man corner at 89 speed. Now people were saying him or Asante Samuel. If Asante Samuel, I think is better. But if you're a man press kind of guy, you probably want to go with Rob Woodson because Asante Samuel's a little bit worse in the press game. I'm pretty sure. And Rob Woodson typically is just very well rounded, especially when he gets the ball in his hands too, in terms of taking the ball back and stuff. He's usually really, really good at that as well. But overall, uh, out of the three, my favorite probably gonna be. Larry Allen, just for right now, gonna make gonna, gonna gonna make gaps for you, gonna make holes for the running back to run through, gonna be super super good to just have on the line like, a, like your solid rock. Uh, Rod Woodson probably second, then Morton Anderson again, just an excitement. I never pick up Rod Woodson cards literally ever. Um, in terms of him and Mel Blunt, I usually go the Mel Blunt route, usually a bit better and has a hip power. Rod Woodson's usually decent in that aspect, but again, he's like the Jack. He can do all, he can do everything, but nothing great. Maybe that's good, maybe that's not. I mean, I guess it depends on how you look at stats and how you really like base all that but guys that's about it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you're new to the channel make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that into bell, boys can give this video a big thumbs up and guys if you haven't already if you need coins for any of these legends tomorrow make sure you down below to muttreserve.com that's my coin site make sure to use code poodle down at checkout for 15 percent off your order guys make sure to stock up on some coins now for legend saturday tomorrow you're gonna want these coins to snipe out some cards take advantage of the legend crash and pick us up some new, pick up some of the new cards i don't recommend you open packs ever guys but yeah this has been the Legend pre-release. Can't wait for the actual video tomorrow with everything out. But guys, about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.